showing you guys how to use vectorized code and also how to plot data, which is a very useful feature of MATLAB. They make it very easy for you to plot data. So the first thing to do is to make a file. So remember, you have to do a new script and then save um, in your working directory. So I'm going to first make a vector. So there's many different ways to make a vector in MATLAB. So a vector is just a column or row um, matrix, essentially, where it's many values packed into one sort of list-like data structure. So one way to make one is to do 0 to 100, for example. So 0 to 100, that by default makes a vector with 1 as the increment. So I'm going to run this section and then we can see what x is. So x is just a vector from 0 to 100 with an increment of 1. Now I can change this if I like. So what if I wanted it to be increments of 0 0.5 instead? I would just put this argument in between these two numbers. So this instead would give me a vector twice as large as you can see here in the workspace. Another way to make a matrix is, well, what if I want numbers from 0 to 100, but I want to make sure that I only have exactly 200 values? I can do something else instead. Um, let's call this x1. Now I can make x2 by instead doing lin space, which means linear, linearly spaced, from 0 to 100. And MATLAB has this helpful little um, thing that pops up here. And let's say I want 200 values. So this will make a perfectly linear spaced vector that is exactly 200 large. Now these might be slightly more um, long numbers, as we can see here, if we just look at x2. Uh, they're slightly stranger numbers because you have 0 to 100 and 200 in between, so you have um, slightly, slightly strange intervals, but that's a good way to get exactly whatever, how ma however many values you want. Okay, so those are two ways to make a vector. Now you can also put these vectors through functions. Now I talked about functions in another video, but let's do a quick review. So let's say I wanted to do a binomial function where I wanted to make a function where I can input the coefficients and I get out the outcome of the function. So let's make a function. So function return value is equal to, it doesn't have to be return, it can be any variable you want, and it can be any number that you want as well. Um, I'll explain that more in a bit. So I'm going to name it binome. And then my arguments will be my coefficients, so a, b, c, and my x. Okay, and there's my function. So uh, recall a binomial function is y is equal to a times x squared plus b times x plus c. Now, I do want to eventually pass through a vector into here. Um, I will show you how that's done in a moment. And what's important to do here is to put a dot in front of each operator, because when you multiply by a vector, you want to make sure that you're doing scalar multiplication or um, exponentiation, because um, otherwise it will do matrix operations, which do not work the same way. So this is my function, binome. So I will now use this function by specifying what is my a. Uh, let's say I have a equals 2, and I have, let's say, b is equal to 3, and c is equal to 1, let's say. OK. So these semicolons just make sure that they're not printed out later here, because I don't really want that. It gets a little messy in the command window. And let me call this function by saying y is equal to, so the return value goes to y, and then let's say binome a, b, c, 
And let's put in our x1 so we get nicer numbers. OK. So let's run that. And y should be the binomial values of given an input x. So, but we want to visualize this. And how we do that is we will plot it. MATLAB makes it very easy to plot. All you have to do is hit figure to open a new window for your plot. And then you have to hit plot. And then you'll put in your x. Uh, see this very helpful hint over here. All you have to do is put in an x vector and a y vector. Now, I will do something purposely wrong here first to show you an error that it will give. I'm going to put in x2 and y. So this should give me an error. So it did open a, a figure plot, um, but it did not successfully plot. The reason why is because the vectors must be the same length. Now, notice here that y is a vector of 201 values and x2 is only 200 because of the lin space. Now we need to make sure that we put in the correct one, at, um, or basically the one that we put into the function in the first place, which is x1. Uh, because we did this scalar multiplication and exponentiation, we're guaranteed that the output of this function has the same dimensions as what comes out, uh, as what went in. So I'm going to change that to x1 and then plot. Okay, so here we see a very nice binomial curve. And let's just verify that this is correct. And you can kind of play around with this plot and look at some values and confirm that they are indeed what they should be. Okay, and you can add functionalities to these plots, such as if I want to add a title, I can just say title and then put in whatever string I want. So test title, for example. If I want to add an X label, I can put in X label, which uh, just labels the X axis. So let's say, um, I'll label it X, and then my Y label, I'll label it Y. And then I can run this section, and here I have my title and my X label, uh, uh, sorry, my X label and my Y label over here. Okay, so that was a quick introduction to vectorized code and plotting data. Thanks for watching.